Well, you guys, like all good things, the Kit Fox is coming to an end. This is my absolute last flight with the Kit Fox, so no better way to take my wife on a sunset flight. We're heading up to Pierce Ferry, just a little dirt runway right on the edge of the Colorado River with an amazing view. There's next to no wind right here. There was rain up there earlier, but I think it's clearing out. So let's get going on a half hour flight. Coming back, we might shoot an approach in here um, and hopefully maybe get a night landing. So we'll see. Clear. But we tried to do this flight two other times. We were gonna go down to Havasu for dinner and something came up. And then another time we were gonna go and we had more problems come up. So this is the last flight with the Kit Fox with you guys and also for myself before it is sold. Kingman traffic, experimental Kit Fox, 24 Kilo Bravo, taxiing from the Shade Hangers, runway 03 for a northbound departure. Kingman. Kingman Airport, automated weather observation 0057, Zulu. Wind 0 niner, 0 at 0 5, visibility 1 0. Sky condition clear, temperature 2 7 Celsius. Dew point 0 7 Celsius. Altimeter 2 niner, niner, niner. Remarks, density altitude 5600. All right, there you go. Quite high density altitude, that's for sure. Kingman traffic, hit Fox 24 Kilo Bravo. OB departing runway 03 northbound Kingman. All right, that way is clear. The runway is clear. get my flaps retracted. So I was just looking at my hours, how many I've put on this thing since I've bought it. And I think on this flight, we're passing the 100 hour mark. Yeah, we're, but then like 0.3 hours of getting 100 hours. Oh wow, they like, looks like they resurfaced or repainted that runway, it looks like resurfaced. Interesting. All right, so we are heading out that way. And like I said, it was supposed to be raining potentially up that area. So if for some reason it's just not looking great or the winds are too strong or whatever else, just looking at Windy App, it was showing that there was some convective stuff up there about this time, but it was also supposed to be clearing out about this time as well. So we will see. Yeah, Would be the first time we turned around. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 yeah, we, we like to get about 10 minutes out and then turn around. <laughs> well, I think one thing that I have kind of gathered from owning this plane now for a year is that flying is not really my hobby. I love it for a job. I love doing it every day, even for my job. But to come out and do it for fun, I think there's some other things that I enjoy doing more than flying. And two, it takes so long to get anywhere, like, you're only going like 90 miles an hour, not 90 knots, but like if you have to like kind of rearrange or arrange to go out flying with your buddies or something, they might live an hour from you. So it's just, it's just been a lot harder than I was kind of anticipating in my head, getting out, going, flying as much as I would like to. Well, Chelsea, I know that a lot of people are probably like, they've asked a lot in like the comments and things like that, what our thoughts are on going back to Papua New Guinea. Especially even for the family and things like that. What are your thoughts on returning? The kids definitely and I wanted to go back. And you want to go back now, so. Yeah, it took a little while for me to get to the place where I'm open to going back. I think the kids have so many friends there and the school's really good. And I think after their experience with public school, they're like, uh, yeah, we want to go back because they actually get a good education there. There's that. Yeah, for sure. What changed though for you, like, in your thinking? Yeah, no, I'm excited about returning for another three years. 
But for one, I'm excited about the type of flying we're doing over there. I really enjoy it. I actually enjoy it more than this type of flying. Like, I enjoy, like, backcountry flying, but I think it's honestly maybe a little more dangerous than what I do. Just because the runways that we use are, they're kept up and they're not, like, landing on a sandbar where you could potentially, you know, rip off your tailwheel or something like that. Someone else is doing all of your maintenance, which is really nice. It has more purpose than just going out flying for fun. Like, this has been fun, but I don't know. I think if I get another plane ever, I think it'd probably be a bit bigger so that more of us could go out and do something. Yeah, and we could carry than... more things like camping gear, and that'd be really fun. Yeah, I mean, it's fun, but this is like, I mean, Chaucer and I, we barely fit with our camping gear in here. So it would be nice to have something maybe a little bit bigger so that the whole family could go, or I don't know. Yeah, that'd be fun. And this too is like the last, like this whole week is just going to be just really crummy, windy weather. So this is probably the perfect night to go out. Probably not going to be the prettiest sunset, but this is better than nothing. I've ever taken you to this lake up here, this dry lake bed. I know Chaucer and I went up here a lot. That's where I practice all my touch and goes and things like that. First wheel landing with this thing. I also did some other things where like practicing just like going on like one wheel and things. It's actually a really awesome thing to have out here. Well, let's go down. We'll land on that and then we'll go up to the other place. It's really cool. There's like no telephone wires, no nothing out here. So you can just get like right down on the deck. It's really oh. fun. Yeah. Oh, there's lightning out there. Oh, where at? Oh, I wonder how far it is out there. Yeah, see like these little fields right here, you can just come out and land. Just hopefully you don't hit like a big old bush mound. Ooh, and that fence. Careful that fence there. Yeah, it only goes up like four feet, so. Oh, it's raining over there and getting some drops on the windshield. Really hoping it's not raining up at Pierce Ferry though. Yeah, so like kind of going back to some of the reasons why we're going back. And Maybe some of the reasons why, you know, it took me a lot longer for myself just to, I guess, want to go back. Like living in Papua New Guinea, not anything like that, Instagram or videos, everything, you only see like highlights and things like that, but like living in any culture that's not your own, um, it kind of wears on you after a while. There's nothing wrong with the PNG culture, it's just, it's just not the same as America, and it's also, um, Maybe some things that they value are different than things that we value. We really value time, efficiency, things like that. And that's not really something on their radar over there. So, but we also, I wanted to live that, with something that has purpose in life. Rather than just maybe just, I don't know, just getting a job here in the States. I really wanted something that I felt like, yeah, this is what I want to work my life towards. I want to be able to be a part of, for one, getting the gospel out to people in Papua New Guinea, but also having something for myself to go, okay, this is this is what I'm putting my time and effort into. All right, well, there was a fence out here, but maybe I've already passed it. Oh, no, it's up here, I think. I think it goes with anything, though, too. Like, I remember watching a video. Who was that? What's that guy's name? Tony... Tony Robbins? Tony Robbins, and he was, and he was trying to figure out what he wanted to do with his life and what his meaning behind things was is he, f he realized he had to have a, something to give back to for him to feel like he could, you know, yeah. strive in his business to, to, you know, for it to increase and be prosperous. So he started like, uh, I think he started something where they He was giving away homeless, food like, or something yeah, like homeless, that. Yeah, uh, and helping people get back on their feet, like from... Exactly, where well, he like was... Just, yeah, he's like, pursuing wealth for the sake of that doesn't really, isn't going to satisfy, but be able to give back, then you can, like, enjoy, I don't know. I yeah. It's important to be able to give back to things. Exactly. To find true meaning in life. Yep. I wonder if we're getting all, like, the wash over all right. the, these mountains over here. Move over this way a bit. This is really rough. One thing I 
don't like about this plane is the, the angle that the radiator is sitting. It doesn't get good airflow in any climb. But I think the Kit Fox 4 has it like below the cowling, so it's just sitting in the air no matter what. But this is like kind of at a back angle like this, so then when you're in a climb, it's barely getting any airflow over it. Oh, yeah, yeah. look at the lightning wave there. We should stay over this side. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's not too much further up there, so we're just going to get a bunch of low by from that. Well, stink. This is all supposed to be kind of dissipating by now, so by 6, it's 6.20 now. Let's come up above so we can see how much further it is. It yeah. might... Oh, it's like way up there. I don't think so. Uh, let's come up through here and see. I think it's on the mountain range past where we're going. Well, stink, it's kind of raining. Oh yeah, there was lightning right there. Uh-huh. It's not that far away either, so... Well, that stinks. I kind of figured there might be some rain up here, like I said, but... Alright, well... Yeah, it keeps lightning right over there. Doesn't look like it's that far away, so... Alright, well... Forget Pierce Ferry. Because, yeah, right at the end of the peninsula, it looks pretty dark. And that's right where we are going, so... All right, we'll mosque for there. Let's go back to that lake bed. All right, well, let's just go land on the lake bed then, for now. All right, well, we'll touch down here then and cool off. It's so hot in here. I believe how warm it is. Yep. All right, well, let's go ahead and shut down and get out for a minute. Uh -huh. Seven hours driving on the highway Far away, far away, far away Every moment I was spending on regrets Was such a waste, such a waste such Well, not quite as beautiful as Pierce Ferry right on the edge of the cliff looking over Colorado River like a thousand foot or more down but nonetheless it is beautiful out here and before I forget I want to tell you guys about E3 Aviation they're actually doing this giveaway in the month of June completely free all you have to do is just go sign up and you get a point every time you sign up and then if you get your friends to sign up you also get more points completely free big huge giveaway for the whole month of June so check out the link down below again there's no string attached it's just completely free and they're doing giveaways for the whole month. So be sure you go check that out. Send it to all your friends, get as many points as you can so that you might be able to win. Well, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit, wait for the sun to kind of go down and then get going on only like a 15 minute flight, probably 20 with the winds, back to Kingman. Well, when we landed, there was like a 10 to 12 knot wind over here. Now there's like zero wind. So it's so weird. It's probably done raining up there by now. It looks like it's actually cleared off all right where we were going and all the clouds that were up to 50,000 feet have kind of just dissipated. Crazy, in 20 minutes. It's soft, it's kind of fun to play on. It squishes. Yeah, it does actually squish. <laughs> it's fun, right here, it's scary. Like I said, I've had this thing for since last beginning of October, really. When I started flying it, it's now May, about eight months that I've been flying it, put 100 hours on it, and did a couple mods. If you haven't seen my other videos or kind of followed the journey along, I've got the 29 inch bush wheels, I've got the Tundra light tail wheel back here. Let me go show you this. The 10 inch by 4 inch Tundra light tail wheel. I have the T3 tail wheel suspension on here. Uh, let's see, I put this tape on here really is just so sticks and things can't get through. In theory, the wind is supposed to be, able, or the, the airflow is supposed to keep on here better at slower airspeeds. I didn't see any difference. I put it on VGs here, as well as the leading edge all the way down. I watched some videos online, like a bunch of videos of other people doing it, and just took their recommendations. That's what I did. 
and it dropped it down, I don't know, like six knots or something like that. Power on stalls. Power off stalls was only like two or three knots, so it really didn't change too much. Also did the interior. I put carpet, carbon fiber. I was gonna do the instrument panel, but just got too lazy because it was gonna be too much work. Covered this, put in red LEDs up there and underneath here, as well as my landing, my navs, and my strobes from Aero LED. This is a really cool feature though, is because they wigwag back and forth. And I really like that feature just for visibility when you're flying around other airplanes they can see you so much easier it was a really easy install too strobes and navs and everything like that so really cool if you're thinking you want to get it check them out because it's nice how the back tail light and strobes up here all flash together all three of them together you don't have to have like a strobe box in the airplane like the old school type so really light really easy to hook up i think that's about it for my modification list not a lot of things, but enough to take up a lot of time and not get as much flying as I wanted. I really kind of wanted to get more like 200 hours, and it just didn't happen. I also live in an extremely windy place in a tiny 800-pound plane. Eh, it kind of stinks going flying when there's 20 to 25 knots. All right, well, sun is going to be going down here shortly. Then we're going to jet back and do kind of a evening landing over there. Okay, well, I walked that way about 450 feet. The wind's kind of coming that direction now where we landed. It's coming from this direction. Just to make sure there was no, like, ditches along the way, because when it rains out here, they get all these, like, little, like, 8-inch ditches everywhere. Okay. That's good, that's good, that's oh, good, that's good. All right, well, let's do a 180. <laughs> Bless you. All right, you ready? One last minute flow check. All right. Going all the way up. Ah, I'm going all the way up. Ah, I'm letting go of my heart. With everything that holds me down. No, no. And it's feeling like I'm a renewal. I can feel the love. Oh, yeah, it's all around me. Oh, I need a I love this type of flying where you're just flying low. Yeah, it's more frightening. More frightful, that's why I like it more. Well, we'll get back before it's completely dark, otherwise this, like, you can't, these cameras oh, yeah. don't pick up anything. Look at the mountains, they're so green. I know. It's crazy. Here, I'll crack this open now. How do you do that without the door flinging open? Uh, oh. you have to do it. Okay, why don't you see if mine's enough? Oh. I did it. You did it? I think so. Oh. All right. Yeah. That does feel better. And if you have a kit box and you want those, go check out bowenarrowllc.com. He's got them on his site. That's where I got these ones. And yeah. Could you lean on that? Oh, uh, there's way too many rocks all around Arizona. A lot of places look like a lot of fun, but you'd have to come out here with a helicopter or something else. Check to it, clear out, it all first. out. Yeah. Like it. Looks cool though. Yeah, it does. Definitely long enough. If you cleared it all off, it would be pretty cool. And it's feeling like I'm a renewal. I can feel the love. Oh, yeah, it's all around me. Oh, I need to know how I can let go. Not the way to fall. A very should be high. It ended up turning out to be a really nice evening. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot crummier out and a lot of overcast clouds, but this has turned out to be really nice. Sky condition clear. Temperature 2-3 Celsius. 2.10 Celsius. Altimeter 3-0-0-0. For marks, density altitude 5,100. Pretty much next to no wind, almost right down the runway. Well, we're almost back to the airport now, and I'd love to just give you guys just a quick update on when we're heading back to New Guinea. 
the end of June, I'm heading back, so the next few videos will be the videos I have not posted yet of Papua New Guinea, and then once we get back, probably start flying at the beginning of July. Probably the first or second week in July is when I'll start picking back up with my videos in New Guinea. But I still do have some that I have not made yet before I left Papua New Guinea. Not very many, only a handful left, but I'll still be making videos once a week and once I get back there, I'd like to be able to bring up to two videos a week like I used to. I just haven't had the content here with this just because I was not able to really fly it as much as I was kind of anticipating. And I hope to be able to also like bring in like some more newer videos with like for my patrons as well as the E3 members if you're not familiar with E3 is. It's a community, it's an online community, I already mentioned just a little bit earlier, but it's an online community that has like a um, magazine and uh, they have like fly-in, get together, things like that. You can get product um, deals as well if you're a member. At but, all right, so we're gonna be landing on runway 2-1, which is just kind of going down to the south. Winds are out of, out of 2005 knots. So we'll just enter into a, actually we'll just fly overhead and enter into a left downwind. Kingman traffic, 24 Kilo Bravo overhead midfield if you join left down one, 2 1 Kingman. We'll just do a close approach tonight. Kingman traffic, 24 Kilo, Kilo Bravo turning left base, 2 1, full stop Kingman. It's my time of day. Oh, it's so nice out. Sunset of your flying quite your airplane. Quite apropos, eh? Yeah. Came in traffic, two for Kilo Bravo, final two on full stop. Well, thank you guys for joining me this past year <laughs> flying this thing. I wasn't quite sure people would still enjoy the videos or not. But I wanted something to do and I'm really glad that I'd get it. It was a lot of fun. But I am excited about flying the Kodiak back in Papua New Guinea. Getting back to, I guess, more or less what has been normal life for us for the past six years. If you guys are interested in finding out kind of what we actually do over there in missions, you can check out the link after this video where I go into a little more detail about what it is that we actually do over there. And if you want to get partnered with us, um, it has some videos on just how you can do that as well. But thank you guys again, really. I sure do appreciate you guys watching my videos and commenting and sharing with others. Uh, I feel very blessed to be able to be able to get a plane like this and then share my adventures with you guys. So.